Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This will be a three card spread having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you and your connection together. Now this can be for anyone dealing with an ex, uh, a spouse, someone you're in a relationship with, someone you wish to be in a relationship with. Um, if, if there's someone romantically special to you Aqua, I want you to hold their image in your mind and we'll see what cards come up in regards to how this person could potentially be feeling about what it is that you have together. Okay, so um, I do want to thank everyone for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. So let's jump in and have a look at the cards that come up for you, Aquarius, uh, in regards to how this person is feeling about you and your connection. Okay. Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Strength card. Okay, Ten of Swords is Air Energy, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For those that are dealing with an Air sign, I mean, it isn't specific. It can be any sign, really. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, there can be something about betrayal or hurt or pain. So the Swords, the fact that they are pierced in this man's back, he didn't see it coming. Okay, there could be someone here. Now, this won't be for all of you. But for some of you, that could be someone here who feels like they were surprised by you, okay? By your words, by your actions, by something you did, by something you didn't do. And the fact that that's coming up could well indicate that this, there's somebody here who feels like they have um, felt, they, they feel somewhat betrayed by you, um, Aquarius, or they feel like you've caused them a lot of pain. There's someone here who still feel who still might be feeling hurt, uh, or they might be um, becoming more hurt as as the connection progresses. And I don't know if it's because of communication, because swords can definitely rule mentality and attitude and and the way we communicate, and and share our thoughts and express our thoughts. Uh, but there could be someone here who is feeling that um, pain. Okay. The good news is is that the darkness is lifting and there's a new dawn here. So for some of you, there might this might be someone that uh, might it might be trying to move on from you. Okay, they might be trying to heal, but there's still residual pain. There's still unresolved pain. Whether this was pain that was instigated by you or them or by an exterior source, uh, I feel like they're they're still living in that. But they're looking to a new dawn, and when we see a new dawn, it's almost like the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's always darkest before the dawn, but when the sun comes out, suddenly it, it gives a new perspective on everything that we're seeing, and we look forward to that rising sun. It could even be translated as hope, uh, Aqua. There might be someone feeling hopeful, hopeful to heal, hopeful to reconcile. Um, but for a lot of you, there could definitely be someone who's still in a lot of, in a mode of feeling very angry or resistant or defensive. Um, because that seven of wands has come up. Now, the ten, back to that ten though, it could be a new start. So there could be someone here who wants to restart something or have a second go with a connection or start fresh, start clean, okay, uh, with a fresh, slate, so, uh, a fresh slate, so to speak. But back to that seven of wands, it is defensive or resistant energy. So if some of you are trying to break through to someone, if you're trying to get through to them, teach them something, reconnect with them, get them to speak with you, get them, you know, to give you the time of day. Um, there's someone here who's just feeling like they don't just, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to, excuse me, be involved. Um, they're really, really defensive over something. It could be that de defensive over you. There might be other people telling them something about your relationship. Um, there might be opinions that are being thrown into this person's face and they're trying to deflect and detour and bypass all these opinions because it's poisoning potentially what you have together. Um, but for some of you, that's not the case. The Seven of Wands could show that there is someone feeling like they might even be feeling pressured or backed in a corner here. So I don't know if you've been pressuring them to pressuring them to get commitment. Maybe they've been pressuring you. Okay, maybe they've been pressuring you to pursue commitment with them, and you're the resistant one. But there's resistance, whether they perceive you to be resistant towards them or the connection, or they're resistant to give you 
what it is that you're wanting. Maybe they're not ready. Maybe you need to strengthen what it is that you have together um, before that, that comes to pass here. But it's not always a bad thing, the Seven of Wands. Um, it's a very admirable trait in one way because he's able to, on his own, he's able to do so much. So it shows a lot of power and, and, and will and determination. So there could even be someone who's feeling very determined to get to you. It could even be competition with all these other ones coming up. This person almost looks like he's fighting for his place. So it could even be that someone feels jealous. Um, someone feels protective. Someone feels possessive. And the characteristics I've mentioned very much um, read well into the Leo, which has come up here in the Strength card. So it can be someone that feels threatened. Okay, there might be someone else showing you interest. You might be showing them interest. You might just be keeping an open mind, Aqua. And this could be someone, a fire sign, can be any sign, that's feeling like they need to fight for your time or your attention. Or they're getting very jealous over you, scared to lose you. They feel threatened in some ways. Um, and maybe they want to strengthen the bonds, strengthen the ties, which has come up in the form of the strength card. The fair, gentle maiden and the primitive, carnal, uh, wild and unpredictable lion. Okay, an unlikely pairing, but they make it work. They make it work. He's admiring her gentleness and she admires his, his passion, um, his animal-like nature. So it, it, it works. It seems to work quite well. Um, Someone can be feeling like you're not really their type. You're maybe a little bit unconventional. You're outside the box, but you give them something that they didn't know they needed, uh, which is quite powerful. And they're responding to that and they want to strengthen those ties with you. Maybe that's why. Maybe you're giving them something they've wanted for such a long time. And this is why they're chasing you so bad. This is why there's competition and jealousy because they want to hold on to these things. Um, the strength card it can be quite a sexually charged card as well so for some of you there's definitely someone who's lusting over you physically and sexually there's a lot of sexual chemistry here um, and that's being built up slowly over time uh, but there could also be someone who sees you as their anchor okay who either sees you as their lion or their fair maiden okay so they see that gentleness to you um, you know, that innocence, that youthful, youthfulness, that playfulness. And this is what's drawing them to you. This is what's see. This is why they see you as their source of strength. Um, but for others, that source of strength is seeing that they perceive you as the lion. Okay. The leader, the initiator, the bold one, the daring one, the protective one, the one that can anchor them down, the one that can nurture them, but at the same time, point them in the right direction um, if needed. So whether they see you as the maiden, whether they see you as that gentleness, um, or whether they admire that, um, I guess that wild side to you, Aqua, um, that's definitely coming up here. So very powerful emotions either way. Um, but there could be someone here who's feeling like they either want to receive more affection from you, or they're very much enjoying the affection and the attention um, that they're getting from you. Okay, they feel at a good place. Now, not for all, but for some of you, they feel like your relationship is quite strong. Maybe this is following a story. Maybe there's something that could unfold around this time and coming into Feb um, that will be strengthening your bond together. Or at least this is how this person might be feeling or, or seeing whatever it is, whatever turn of events that get you to that strength card. Okay. I will leave your reading at that though, Aqua. I just want to remind you, it is a general reading. Uh, obviously, there's so many people out there with differing circumstances, lovers, exes, um, you know, relationship partners. So I want you to keep an open mind, but I do hope there's been something here that sort of made sense or tied into your connection, your relationship, your marriage. Um, and I do sincerely wish you all the best. I do hope things unfold as, as you wish them to. Um, thank you again for all your contributions to the growth of my channel, Aqua. It's been absolutely amazing. So thank you again. And until next time, take care.